Well, I want to thank the Mars. And yesterday I decided to do a little thought experiment to see what life would be like if we didn't have any processed foods. Because you're always hearing, you know, UN saying get rid of processed foods. Every liberal out there is saying get rid of processed foods. So I did a little thought experiment. First definition, by definition of processed food, is food that has had a series of mechanical or chemical operations performed on it to change or preserve it. Alright. So, what does that include? Well, first of all, you wouldn't have any bread. Artifacts, what are you talking about? Well, sorry. Uh, the grain is mechanically harvested and then ground up, crushed, milled, and eventually baked into bread. You wouldn't have any bread because that is a processed food. Unless you actually do your own grain, in which case it's still, at least it's not, uh, manufactured, but who does that? Oh, and you wouldn't have any flour either. Why? Sorry, <laughs> we just talked about uh, bread being processed. Flour is too. So that's processed food. Uh, bear that in mind, liberals, this is what you're attacking. Uh, you wouldn't have any breakfast cereal, which you see here, some of which isn't necessarily the best thing for you. I understand. All that is processed food. You wouldn't have any pasta or spaghetti sauce. All that's processed. You wouldn't have any of those uh, tangy meatballs that go with it. Now, I can go through the whole list here. So, why don't we take a look at what you would have. It would be a lot easier. Because virtually all the sections in your uh, supermarket would be gone. Except for the uh, fresh food section. This is what you have in Asia. This is called an open-air market. I actually visited one of these uh, when I was in the Navy, and I saw a little, uh, I got to see firsthand what they're like. Uh, you buy, they buy everything fresh, because most of them don't have refrigerators, and that means killing your own meat, by the way. Whether it's a snake, a fish. I didn't see any cats or dogs there. I was in Singapore. Um, but you have to kill it all fresh because none of it's processed. You wouldn't have any McDonald's or any other restaurants. They all use processed foods. No Taco Bells. No Burger Kings. No, all that would be gone if we didn't have processed foods. The one I visited I found rather amusing. Uh, there was a fish swimming around in a barrel. And that's my, that's my one memory is watching a fish swimming round and round in circles in a small barrel. Now here you can see the fish, they haven't been cleaned. They're crop but not cleaned, which means you would have to clean them yourself and skin them, whatever, flay them every day. Uh, are you Americans that ambitious? This is every day. Uh, three times a day, you'd have to do this stuff. And here's another picture of an open air market. Sorry, I don't read whatever language that is. 
That's Japanese. I'm looking at the headline. So, you know, think about this. If uh, the liberals were able to get away with this, liberals, progressives, mostly progressives, your average liberal, I mean, come on. Your average liberal enjoys going to McDonald's and eating whatever. No matter the bravado that they put on. But, uh, it's elitists who are telling us the processed food is bad for us. You know, so, here's your choice. Do you want to follow the liberal elitists? Elias to tell us no processed food. Who, by the way, these Elias eat in fancy restaurants, eat processed foods that they rail against. You want to follow them, or do you want to use a little common sense? Now, not everything is all that good for you, obviously not. You know, the traditional hot dog at a baseball game, that's not terribly, that's not very good for you, unless you eat something like Hebrew National, which is kosher. That's a little better for you than that, but nobody basically gives a sh you know what. When I said I visited Singapore, people were friendly, I liked them. And this is pretty much representative. This is an indoors one, as in an outdoors one. But, you know, you better think about it before uh, you say, well, this is uh, progressive, they have our best interests at heart, they want to eliminate uh, all the processed food, it'll be better for us. Yeah, right. And let me explain one other thing before I go here. You eliminate processed food, uh, that means only fresh food. It might be a little dicey at times getting enough fresh food in. In other words, it might go hungry. That's not very good for you now, is it? Uh, doesn't look like Asia to me. I don't know. But I think point here's been made. Uh, you think it... Some people think that these people have their best interests at heart, and you can wind up starving, because it would be a nightmarish logistical problem to get fresh food in all the time. I mean, enough unprocessed raw vegetables in for everybody to eat. It would be a nightmarish logistical problem. I don't think it could be done, to be honest. I'm sure I love my bananas and not whatnot. I'm not saying there's anything wrong, you know, with cooking it yourself or anything like that. That's not the point. But the point here is, you know, people are telling you don't eat processed food, and you're going to go hungry if you don't. That's just modern reality. Anyway, that's my thought experiment for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars.